<coughs> so hello everyone can you hear me oh uh, if you can hear me just say yes on the chat window let me check my uh, audio connection so probably it looks fine yes so good evening all if you can hear me just uh, type yes message on the chat window So if you can hear me just say yes on the chat window then we can start very quickly. waiting for your comments okay so anyway how many of you have completed the assignment by the way so I'll share a video to do and that you have to just submit the assignment so what you have to do if you have completed the assignment I'll, I'll tell you actually uh, the exact way where you have to submit okay so nice all right so before starting anything let me uh, start that one all right so this is my uh, one of the cute dog actually so it's very cute uh, and it's pretty awesome following the mouse to go anywhere so it can travel across see so I, I found it very amazing anyway so I'm going to uh, just start this uh, quiz today so I'm just clicking on the play stop here stop here stop here okay and clicking on the classic right so you can join this just do it quickly Okay. 
think uh, I can start now. Number of questions are less today as compared to uh, all the day. Fine, so I'm just starting. Okay, now you shut up. So I'm just going to. So by the way, there is a command called one co, so it can you know just create this dog. Fine, so. Uh, waiting for more people like all around I have it's 57 players in the list and uh, I think yeah so I'm just clicking on the start button and here one two three go so this is your first question on the screen which software we can use to install docker on the windows platform I got a couple of answers. Let's see. So, by the way, the right answer is Docker uh, Toolbox and Desktop booth. So, I believe a couple of you people have not uh, watched my uh, YouTube video. So, let me tell you in Windows based platform, you have two tools like uh, Docker Toolbox, Docker Toolbox, and Docker Desktop. So by using these two software, you can install Docker in Windows platform, right? But for Docker desktop, you need Windows 10, either professional version or Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. So this is the prerequisite of Docker desktop, Docker desktop, right? But Docker Toolbox you can install in any version of Windows. There is no problem. And if you have gone through with the video lecture, so I have already given that thing that how to install a Docker Desktop in your Windows environment, right? So this is a video where you can just check. Right, so installing. I'm just putting on this chat window in case you missed it. So this video will give you how to install a uh, Docker desktop in Windows 10. If you have Windows uh, 10 Professional or Enterprise Edition in that case, right? All right, so let's see the ranking. So these are top five people wonderful guys next question is right here which version of docker is free to use just read the question carefully and try to answer it
wonderful maximum correct answers so docker community edition is a version of docker that we are having here and we can install it okay so this is free version of docker the rest everything and a couple of people have given docker desktop so docker desktop is not a product by the way fine so almost same ranking read the question carefully can you install docker in windows 10 without linux support one correct answer and maybe luckily or randomly but anyway so can you install docker in windows 10 without linux support the answer is not possible right so let me tell you the same thing so that means if you remember yesterday if we install docker then docker will create containers right i hope you remember this one containers likewise if you have vmware you will be creating vms so like vmware create container doc uh, sorry vmware create virtual machine and docker create container but docker can only run on top of linux kernel directly right this is not pos possible for windows 10 that you can run docker here right when this is not possible then how docker uh, why we are installing uh, docker toolbox or docker desktop right if we are uh, that is not possible why we are installing so what they are doing actually the both the software they can use vmware or virtual box or hyper v of microsoft then on top of it they install linux based os and then on top of it they will install docker so the reality is even windows 10 enterprise and professional version cannot install docker directly on windows without linux support so they are using any of the software and then they are installing linux based os then they are installing docker on top of it now from your cmd or your powershell right powershell you can connect this docker right to make a clear picture about it i have just shared that video on the chat window right so you can just go through with that that is docker desktop installation watch this video till end and you will find the you will get the answer whatever you are looking for right so the point is we cannot install docker in windows 10 without the next support right so the next is required anyway clicking on the next so no <coughs> ranking change because maybe uh, there is one correct answer only so how to check location of date command in linux so let's 
do it really quickly. So the right answer is C. Which date? So let me tell you one thing. Whenever you are saying a command, right, in any of the operating system. So what exactly the command? Command is nothing. It's a file, and that file has code written inside that, right? So when I type like date or cal, these are nothing. These are file, and file has some code. So when you hit this enter, the code is getting executed. So that means if I'm typing date, sorry, if I'm typing date here, likewise, I'm switching to my root account, and so I'm typing date. Okay. So I'm getting this output, or I'm typing cal. So whatever command i'm typing these commands are nothing these commands are files and how we can check it by using which date so i can check under usr bin there is a file called date and i can check the uh, you know permission of this file likewise so this file has a uh, fire fire as a owner and uh, this is a permission so even if I want to simply check cal, which cal, this will be the right one. And I can check the permission of cal also, like this. Even if I want to run command in that way, see, usr bin date, I can write the entire name, right, to run the command. So it's not a problem, by the way. So you can just use which date command to check it all right i'm just going next so koshi is on the top wonderful good job koshi and uh, i'm just clicking on the next which one is the latest version of docker Wow, maximum correct answers. By the way, it's amazing, wonderful. I can check. So, okay, going next. And this Docker is written in which programming language? Thank <laughs> you. 
I think I have discussed about the same yesterday, the last session. Wonderful, maximum correct, Golang. So Go is a programming language where uh, Docker is written. So nice. Next, how to install Docker in Red Hat OS? Use this. First option, okay. So next, how to check Docker version? If you have gone through the Docker installation video that I have shared yesterday, Docker toolbox installation. So we are in the last of the video. You have this. nice docker version let me check so if i do docker version i can check the version of docker in my system right right here but if i do docker hyphen hyphen version it is also seeing but it is only showing the software version docker means docker server and client both not about the software okay docker version not about docker software anyway you can include first option also but nice and second last question ssl stands for This is a very random question by the way. Wonderful. Maximum correct answers. SL stand for secure socket layer. And this is 
ranking i believe this is the final question size of mac address in bytes chimel come to your point Oh, right so 21 people have given the correct answer only six byte address size of mac in reality and uh, yes so nuclear we know navneet khushi and sakshi the owners so this is your <coughs> final ranking by the way so without doing any delay and congratulations guys Winning this and uh, I'm leaving this okay and now uh, just moving to docker without doing any delay right so uh, right Harshwardhan what happened fine Anyway, so uh, now if you uh, do remember that fact, so how are we gonna access the lab? First of all, how to access lab, okay, and uh, that means there is a one category so if you have installed docker toolbox so just give me a yes message on the chat window whosoever have installed docker toolbox in your system just waiting for your uh, comment here all windows people either docker toolbox or docker desktop so how many of you have installed it and if you are the next guy then in the next did you install uh, docker simply so I'm getting one two three couple of yes okay so three three not more than okay wonderful wonderful so that means <coughs> a couple of people have installed this so <clears throat> if you have installed docker like or as, as of now so how we are going to connect uh, docker so in ubuntu guys see uh, who's are using linux or ubuntu if you write docker and hit enter if the docker is not installed they will give you the installation method in ubuntu right so how we are going to connect see so from your windows system docker toolbox you have installed that is actually a docker client right that is actually docker client so and whatever i have so I have a Linux server and that server is in cloud this is in the Amazon cloud okay so you guys from your own system or machine what you are going to do you are going to connect to my docker server 
so either I can say docker server or or I can say uh, <coughs> docker engine right docker engine so docker server or docker engine whatever you can assume then you have to send a request to the server and server will give you the response so how docker is going to work in uh, IT industry or in production environment you have you will have docker client in your system and you will be sending a request to docker server so your server URL is something that IP address I have shared so this is your server URL right this is your server URL and uh, let me log in here you don't have to log in so what I'm going to do so if I want to connect so how do we connect to docker server now the method is how to connect fine so to connect to docker server from either cmd or powershell right so just forget about cmd from your windows powershell if you want to connect your docker right if you want to connect your docker then you have to set an environment variable simply right if you want to connect uh, that thing you have to simply uh, connect your environment variable without any further delay right so how do you generally uh, connect to your docker so let me uh, tell you that actually variable name so from your powershell you have to just i'm just uh, first i'm talking about from powershell right so open your powershell let's if this is your powershell for example right you have to type env colon docker in caps underscore host is equals to in double quotes tcp colon double slash followed by this ip address right and the port number and the port number is 2375 uh, this will not work in linux uh, ubuntu or red hat but this is for windows so i'm sharing this uh, environment variable in chat window right this is you have to set only from only from windows powershell right windows powershell simply from windows powershell right not from anywhere else okay now but if you are a linux uh, guy that means you have linux in your machine so this is one method and if you have linux that means your laptop has ubuntu or something so you have to use export docker underscore host is equals to rest everything is same so for linux uh, people you have to use this variable and for windows people you have to use that variable so let me uh, write this here from windows powershell not from cmd right from windows powershell you have to use this method to connect from your Linux if you have docker installed then right not before that then you have to use this method so these are the you know two, uh, two things that you can use to connect okay so once you have connected this now you can check docker version if you hit docker version 
you will be getting this answer you will be getting this answer and that answer will be verified like you have a docker community edition so this docker server is running on a cloud right as per the diagram so this docker server is running on the aws cloud you're connecting from your laptop or somewhere and if you come to the server point so docker server that is docker engine that is 19.03 if you go there in the bottom it has this information or what you can do you can just also use docker info command from your powershell or from your terminal right once you do docker info command so i'll just going up docker info it will show you something about this right and it will also show you a couple of this big information where what you can understand the operating system of server is amazon linux 2 it's not your ubuntu it's not your windows so it's your uh, amazon linux 2 right so that means uh, now you are connected to from so just sharing history so these commands will be commonly used from powershell also you don't have to uh, worry about all this <coughs> right so if you are able to run both the command and you are able to uh, list all this right just type yes message so that i can make it very 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 much confirm that yes you are able to connect right so just type yes message in the chat window and you are able to connect so i'm waiting for your uh, confirmation yes for chinmay and for maybe other all the people great so i'm getting a lot of messages so shivang it's not working for you what is the problem perfect it's working for maximum people so whosoever are facing some problem to connect with docker engine right so you have to understand uh, you, you can connect me over post this session right now let's directly jump into the one right so what what i'm going to do now so let's say let's say uh, so uh, this is you and this is your uh, system and from here you have installed docker client that is by docker toolbox or any other software right and then this is actually connected to a server running on the cloud on the cloud this is the next server and in the next server docker engine is running docker engine means that is going to accept a request okay now you know that why we created docker because because we want to create a very tiny or small operating system or environment that can run your code so i hope you remember that uh, session that we have done yesterday so let me uh, just go through that again the pdf that i have right so what we did yesterday about the understanding so now we are going to you know write every code every container uh, everything in a container way right and in, in terms of container we started like this so we had this uh, in the very first time physical server OS and, and this and we have the, all these drawbacks that you know right then we shifted to hypervisor virtual machine where the problem was to run your application you still need to install the entire operating system that means the complete operating system and that is a problem and benefit are very good but limitations i told you yesterday entire guest operating system will be required and uh, vm allocation everything will be needed so now we are moving to the containers so what exactly containers are so that means 
if you have docker engine running you want to run your java code so docker will create container right docker will create container and the container will be a very tiny OS that will only have those software that is related to Java so that means in this operating system only one process will be running that is JVM except JVM there will be no program running right so let's say if I want to run C code C language code in my container so in the C language code only GCC compiler will be running that means there will be no my computer no Firefox no Mozilla no notepad nothing right so assume that right if the container is a that much tiny operating system that will only have whatever you require that means accept that thing nothing will be running over there nothing will be running over there right so final finally so let's say if you have a docker engine running and if you are creating container so you have to decide you want to run jvm here you want to run gcc here you want to run mysql database here but whatever you will be deciding it will be running only that process except that nothing nothing means no process will be there right if you got this point so that means let's say yes on the chat window that means container will contain single process single process right container will contain a single process only that single process will be responsible for running your code so if you if, if you are getting my point right just type yes so that we can directly jump into container creation part okay so uh, Sonu Orma probably you must have not set uh, I mean set it up these things if you have Windows PowerShell uh, Sonu you need to uh, hit this command in Windows PowerShell but if you have any Linux machine then you have to hit this so make sure you are connecting by this first right okay so then it will be working all right now final uh, thing let's say we have VMware right if we have VMware to install or run any virtual machine or any operating system actually VMware is running on top of OS so we need OS image let's say that image can be an ISO image or DVD image ISO image or DVD image so from that DVD or ISO image we will be installing this VM but in the same scenario if we have replaced VMware with a new product called docker and still there is a Linux or there is a OS so like from OS will create VM so we need here image but not this OS image we need here docker image right and from docker image we will be creating containers right so simply and guys if if I'm uh, if I'm going fast you can just uh, stop me there I mean by commenting make it slow or if it is good it's all right right if I'm doing fast then you can just uh, stop me there I will make that place so I don't think so it's but still so how we create container by using docker image right so if you want to create container by using docker image and from where we get docker image so 
when the docker was created in around 2013 around 2013 right so docker was built in 2013 so docker has a has a website we call it docker hub so from docker hub you can download docker images you don't have to go in multiple website so there is a website and there is a place called docker hub from here you can download docker images so let's say if i want to do so i can directly just uh, let me go with the uh, incognito mode and i'm using doc I'm just searching for Docker Hub, okay. And uh, here, if I log in into the first website, Docker Hub, you don't have to log in for the, you know, download or something. So here we have this website Docker Hub, and this is one of the best website where you can get Docker images, okay. So let's say if I am looking for, I need uh, a Docker image that can run my java code so i search for java see so i found this first docker image that has 10 million plus download and 2.0 k stars and this is official by sun microsystem even i can keep scrolling down down and down there are so many so many images are here so and out of these you, you can, can just pick any one of the image, image. And, and you can, can just short accordingly and, and so many things are there right if i want uh, java and i want i want an image docker image that uh, related to my sequels so i can search for my sequels so i will get these images right i'll tell you how to download it but as of now we can just do this now if, if you don't want to use, uh, uh, sorry, my circle let's say I can search for CentOS or I can search for, I'm looking for a very tiny image of Ubuntu. So I can search for Ubuntu or I can I can just search for, you can keep doing along with me, right, Red Hat, I need Red Hat operating system or maybe I can, I can uh, run for Node.js. So everything you name a technology that means that means as of now almost every single technology has their own Docker image. I can search for MongoDB. Okay, I can search for MongoDB. See, MongoDB is here. I can search for Kali Linux. Kali Linux. So. Um, I have so many. Okay, is that eco? Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I can do? I don't know. Let me check. So I really don't know how it is, you know. <coughs> Fine. So um, I don't know. I have to throw some mantra or something in the uh, my system, but uh, hmm, I can use that earphones maybe <coughs> if it is. Uh, still there is a eco or it's manageable let me use my earphones <coughs> sorry so let me what about now So 
so uh, now you can tell me is it fine or I mean manageable at least manageable so just type on the uh, chat section if it is okay for now cool all right so I hope you got about this docker a hub right even if you don't want to use this docker hub I am just closing this website so from your CMD or terminal you can also use this docker search let's say I am searching for mongodb image right so the first way is to use your docker hub that you can search graphically or the second way you can search like this so docker hub right see so i searched so in the left side these are the images or image names and this is description this is star and this is official okay or not so better to use you know uh, docker command then also right and uh, <coughs> we are listing all the images and likewise i can search for let's say ubuntu i am looking for ubuntu based images right but make sure it will be working when you have set these variables okay so when you have exported this variable in your cmd or power sorry in your powershell or terminal then it will work not before that right so search for ubuntu and i'm getting all this likewise I'm, i can search for java so here all the java based images are there right so let's do uh, so let me tell you what is happening actually uh, see when I am typing like docker search or you guys are typing so you guys are there in your home and from your laptop you are typing docker search you know what the output that I'm getting in my screen it is not actually my screen output so behind the scene your docker search command is connecting to docker engine that is running on the cloud and then this docker engine is doing search operation on docker hub and docker hub is giving that output to the docker engine and docker engine is giving back to you and you are getting this output right so step number first you did this from your client machine this is your docker server machine and on behalf of your search request docker engine is connecting to docker hub number third docker hub is responding back to engine and number fourth you are getting output in your screen but exactly who is searching docker engine right from now onwards you can you know just fix this thing in your mind everything you type here in your client machine that is going to execute here not in your machine even your system will not be using your ram cpu or internet so your internet speed will not be used here you will be connecting here and this machine will be using internet okay so if i want to download some images so let's download it so uh, how do i download docker pull and image name just i want to download a uh, Ubuntu image so once I do docker pull see downloaded if I do docker uh, pull send OS 
so this will be downloading from docker hub and you know what it is not downloading in my system or in your laptop it is downloading on the docker server and i can download let's say python image so pull is the operation that will be downloading python if i am doing if you do then it will be not downloading again and again because you know what we all are connected from the same server right so this is and you know what the most beautiful thing your internet is not being used okay and i'm uh, searching for java so i'm pulling java image so i'm just you know using a pull operation to download those image in the docker engine all right now let me tell you you know what how this uh, engine is working so if you are doing pull then docker engine is connecting to docker hub and the all images are downloading in the cloud machine although it is showing in your system but it's not downloading in your machine right yeah we can also inst uh, start docker engine in our machine also right so finally one more image i'm downloading so we will be using this image for our practice alpine fine so we will be using this image right and now if i if, if i want to check how many images i have downloaded i can use docker images command it will be showing that yes so we have python we have mysql alpine ubuntu busybox centos java so these are the docker images and look at the size java image has only 643 mb size so that has entire os along with java program centos has this look at the busybox so busybox is had 1.22 mb alpine has this python has big size mysql has big size but these are very tiny operating system <coughs> now look at ubuntu ubuntu has 64 mb right so i'm expecting that you guys are understanding these images are not downloading in my or your laptop it is downloading in the engine uh, docker server so these all are docker basic operations so when i say docker basic operations that mean either we are doing search or we are doing pull or we are doing images so these are docker basic operations right so i'm sharing history i have pulled i have searched i have done the images right so uh, so whosoever uh getting this error so uh prateek you have you have some mistake in the you know spelling so your image name is alpine but it's uh, alpine so you have did ap the image is alpine not alpine so check your uh, spelling in the image name right let me let me tell you if uh, i'm pulling i'm trying to pull some image rather than alpine if i do alpine just a mistake of typing or if i do this i may get this error so access denied docker login required or if i type something weird that is not present in docker hub so i'll get this message every time that means the name that i am looking for this name image is not present in the docker hub right so we 
have uh, downloaded all these images like this anyway so you have to focus on the image name and size and when these images got created by docker community right so it's all done for now right so if you if you got all these operations so if you have any questions in these operation as of now just tell me otherwise I can just uh, go in the next uh, step if you have any question in any of the operations like search pull and images then type your question if you don't have just say no on the chat window so you have to just say yes or no right so if you don't have any problem with these docker 3 basic operations like search pull and images so I'm waiting for your comment in the chat window it's cool for now right so say no maybe if you don't have great so that means as of now there is nothing like that now now let's create container so time for creating containers time for creating containers okay and how do we create container is like let's say uh, if this is my docker engine and here I have docker images so from these images I can create container and that container will run some command or program so this operation we can call it run so let me give that example let's say whosoever if you have windows system at, as of now if you have windows system and in your powershell in your powershell just type a command called let's say ifconfig so all people whosoever has powershell as of now in the same powershell where you are running docker try to hit this command ifconfig and tell me are you able to run or not i mean successfully this command is uh, running on your system or not just type this one ifconfig right so before creating container i am just giving some idea how container is very pretty fast and usable so type i of config in your powershell only windows people right not the next people and tell me are you able to run or not so if you are not able to run just type yes so that means we are having output if config not recognized because if config is not in a windows machine right definitely because if config is a command of linux so if you want to run this command from your windows we know that if config is a command of linux right and see if you have windows then how you can install linux you you need to use a vm then you need to install entire os of linux then after installation you will run that command right so when you don't have linux you don't have you 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 are not able to run that but the point is if i only want to run if config why should i install entire operating system because the thing is if config will not take that much time it will not take that much cpu ram that your vm will take so rather than installing linux first then running this command let's use docker 
so we'll use docker image and we'll say docker image please start a container and run this IF config inside container then show me the output see so how we do that so this operation is run so how we do that so we'll do like this docker run and then the name of image so the name of image will be the combination of repository and tag so image is alpine colon latest right but if the tag is latest you can just avoid that if the tag is latest you can avoid that if the tag is not latest you can you have to write also right so docker run so docker run means i want to create a container and in this container i want to run if config so i want to run if config and see so that thing if i'm hitting enter and waiting and waiting wow what i'll get see i'll get the output and if you all are doing from your powershell you know that your powershell is not having uh, the next command so docker run name of image we are going to use alpine as of now i'll tell you the reason right so use alpine image and the name of command you want to run let's say i have config so i'm getting the output right when i'm getting the output that means really what just happened what exactly just happened right so if you are able to run this command and you are getting the output in your uh, power cmd or in your linux terminal just say yes and guys it's really amazing concept and i'll tell you each and everything in very detail but if you are getting this output then it's really wonderful start for us i'll tell you the answer of every single question but just type yes on the chat window if you are getting this output as of now yes 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 wonderful 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 that is really amazing good job guys right now let me tell you what exactly happened in the back end right see so this is my final diagram for all of you right so this is me let's say or maybe any of you and you have windows 7 8 or 10 and then you have launched your powershell right and there is a server on the cloud that is running docker engine and you have connected your windows powershell environment variable by using that env keyword and you are connected with docker and here we have an image called alpine called alpine so what you did you have given an instruction from your machine like docker run image name alpine and what command you want to execute let's say you have given if config when you hit enter nothing is running here so you are sending a tcp socket signal to docker engine and docker engine is picking one thing what image you are choosing so it is checking on the local system yes we have this image and you have given run instruction so when you say run that means you want to create container so run means you want to create a new container right 
so it is taking that image then a very much big process is happening so this is uh, taking image you know giving RAM giving CPU giving hard disk giving inter-process communication and giving your if config command I mean sorry before this they are giving IP address they are giving MAC address and finally running your if config command and showing you the output in your machine you know what so when you hit it actually one very tiny operating system got created and these all things just happen in less than a second in less than a second that means because once I hit like this it is not even taking a second to create an entire operating system so see in the VMware or somewhere we have to spend 10 minutes to 35 minutes to install OS but here in a very not even a second in a in a microseconds the operating system got created if config got executed you get the output and when the if config got executed after this your container got stop so your container got stop so here i want to tell you one more thing one more thing that is life of container that means till the time container will be running is equals to the life or the running time of running time of your command or code right so life of your container means till the time till what time container will be running it will be same as your program runtime so let's say if you are giving a C language code and that is taking only one minute till one minute the code is running so your container will be running till one minute right your container will be running till one minute only if you have given if config command right so this will be only running to less than one second right so if you get both the understanding finally that means actually every run command has created a new container let's say if I do docker run alpine I mean I'm creating another container and this time I'm going to give date so if I'll give date let's see and why this is a delay because it is coming the response from server to my system and see my time is this maybe if you run the same you will get some different time 16 34 or something it doesn't matter even your laptop may have some other time but you will get this time so UTC time June 2020 and all this right so you have to type yes if you are able to run this command and secondly you understand this entire logic or scenario that I have just cleared right so just type yes message if you are able to execute that container with this and no 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 because alpine is a linux based image it's not a windows based image so if you need some windows based thing then you have to download pull some windows based image all right so everything everyone is saying yes that is really wonderful guys so now how many operations we have done so if I talk about docker basic operations so we have done search we have done pull we have done images 
we have done run right remember remember right every run instruction will create a new container right so someone is asking for ipc and sdd part guys you don't have to understand right now we have session in future what is ipc and hard disk so this is entire interprocess communication so you don't have to worry about what is happening in the back end but i'll take it ahead in near future all right so these operations let's say if i want to see how many running containers are there so i can see by docker ps so docker ps will give me the list of running container so as i can see this is my container personally i have created for some purpose right i've created some for some purpose and that is not so every container that we have created is not running so how many list i'm getting only one this is a container uh, id and container name so likewise uh chit one uh, run means you are creating container every time see you might have missed something so whenever you do run operation you are creating a new container rest if you uh, have still some problem please do connect me on whatsapp or somewhere else right i'll make your concept clear for okay so uh, nice but because we have created so many containers so if i want to see all the containers either running or non running so i can use hyphen a ps hyphen a so if i'll hit enter whoa right see so many containers so many containers and don't test don't trust me see whatever we have given so somebody give a given con command sh date ls and somebody given make dir test somebody given date cal and so many right i'm really glad that people are doing somebody given if config and so many and somebody given ping or something right so this ps hyphen a will show you the list of all the container and here you can check the status is exited that means the container is not running i can show you see if i do docker ps the status is up is up right but if i uh use hyphen a status is exited right so i'm sharing history i got some question can we delete the container we have made yes we can delete we will be doing that and can we execute code of java by writing docker run so khushi i'll be coming to that point that's what the main agenda is right we are not going to use this for date cal command we are going to use this so just wait for the time okay so it is not going to uh, work in that way the the one that is you have written it's not going to work it's fine so yeah so that you don't have to ask me what images i have pulled just do docker images and see so yes there is a image of java so don't just go a bit faster as of now right we have everything in the pipeline so we will be you know uh doing everything okay so ps and ps hyphen a now if you see by docker ps command only every time you are giving some uh container you are giving some thing so we have some container id and container name 
so that means I'll give you the answer of uh, all questions guys just wait for some time so uh, docker run let's say this time I'm not going to uh, run any a small command I'm going to run ping let's say fb.com so this time I'm going to run ping facebook.com why I'm running ping facebook.com because ping facebook.com in general is not terminating so ping command is a while loop infinite while loop right so if I do this now see so the container will be keep running until unless you are not going to hit control C or terminate your terminal right yeah you can also use docker toolbox terminal but you have to set that uh, environment variable All right, so I'm con I'm just using Control C, and when I'm using Control C, my container got stopped. So if I I'll see here, whoa, -ho, I'm 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 just looking at my screen. I have so many containers running in the back end because you guys are running them, right? So this 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 all are running. And see all containers are running right and I can check again okay so many so to stop then you can just do control C if you do control C uh, that container will be stopped I want to show you something here every time you have given let me just make my screen smaller all right so I'm going up see so this container number one has this container ID this is created from alpine image and command you have supplied is ping created 11 second ago up since last 8 second and the name of container is pretty weird see uh, waiting for the response from docker engine okay see so in the very last if you see here these are the name of containers inspiring the man hungry pearl man frosty awesome something they were something blah 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 blah, blah, blah. friendly buck right so these are very weird names okay these are very weird names so if you want to remember your own container name or you want to give your own container name you can give it so what I'm doing for now I am just killing all the containers I'll tell you what is happening right now I'm killing all the containers so that my memory will got free very soon and then I'm uh, removing all the containers from memory okay you don't have to do it right now but let's see I don't have any of the container running or dead everything is cleaned up right so I'll tell you the command but but from now onwards how exactly we have to create container in this way so the standard way the right way to create container always right way to create a container right so use docker run hyphen hyphen name rather than a random name that is you know automatically taken by docker so let's uh, give your own name so I'm giving Ashutosh container one here remember one thing you don't have to give the same name because container with the same name is not allowed in a single docker engine right so that means every docker engine server 
if you are creating a container and that container having some name right so this name must be unique for this entire docker engine and the name must be in a small letter right and now i'm putting hyphen uh, d alpine and it's a this time ping facebook.com you can also use google.com or yahoo.com whatever you want right now what this hyphen d is doing basically the d is putting this program output in the background so what exactly hyphen d is doing hyphen d is putting this all output in the background so yeah automatically unique name are generated so hyphen d will give you that so that means whatever output we were getting that point of time see this output we are getting in the screen if you don't want output in the front screen so you can put hyphen d so it will put this output of program in background and let me hit enter so what just happened i got this container id this is container name and hyphen d has you know placed this output in the background now i can see by docker ps nice see so my this time my container name is see so couple of people manan bozibose shubham ashutosh anshu dev pauz pansal pk so you all have given your own uh, container names right and i can just show you that history okay docker ps see so these are the name of containers and these are the images that you have used and these are the commands or program that you have given right now instead of this we will be you know giving so if you want your container to be you know run forever make sure you are giving some program that is not ending that is not dead or that is not getting halted right so i can now uh, just do one okay one okay and my dog is running like this okay so it's cool okay no 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 yeah you yeah, okay okay come here here on the high lazy boy okay wonderful so uh this is uh what exactly uh we have to understand so these are some basic operations right let me show you some more operations for example if i want to uh, st stop my container let's say ashutosh container 1 is there right so what i'll do i'll use docker kill and my container name so once i do docker kill my container name come here come here oh good good boy good boy so if i do uh, docker kill name and hitting enter whoa container ashutosh one got killed and see here i don't have any container with my name no 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 containers there let's say if i'm killing this test container so i'll kill uh, i can kill more than one container in one shot right what you're doing man okay cool no 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 so let's say pk right so simply uh you can check that the container is killed right likewise you can also use this id docker kill an id of the container 
so also you can use id or name okay and that will be done so kill domains oh, oh, oh. nice all right fine so you got the uh, kill thing all right now let me tell you one more thing if you want to really you know explore all these basic operations no so i have this uh, pdf from red hat itself directly so this is uh, very much downloadable so there is a docker cheat sheet so this is by red hat developers and here i'll be sharing with you see how docker architecture is so this is client and client can pull build and run so we know about pull we know about run and from your local system it is connecting to docker engine or daemon and if you are doing pull so docker engine is connecting to docker registry and where the image we are storing here and from these images we are creating containers by this so this is your machine this is amazon cloud this is docker hub and this is a perfect example client server docker hub this is docker hub right and if i come down see so they have given uh, some command line operations like docker run rel and bash hyphen hyphen name hyphen d and so many so many how you can check list of only active containers ps list of all ps hyphen a how to stop or something so there are so many operations are there so i'll be sharing this pdf with all of you all right so harsh there is a already there is a whatsapp group so let me tell you whosoever if you are not in the whatsapp group we already have whatsapp group right and i will share that whatsapp group link for all of you i think swati ma'am has shared so i'll so that whatsapp group is only for those people who are attending this right now now see so we have this all uh, kill thing so docker ps only these containers are but if the container is killed i can also use docker stop and the name of container the name of container right so this is now stopped right so the container whatever i have so stop and kill almost both are same but if i want to start the container again docker start and the name of container so if i do docker start and i can check by docker ps wow see ashutosh container got started 4 second back but it was created 7 minute back right and this is my name of container so you can stop it like this and if i want to stop it again i can stop right and uh, then if i want to remove it guys don't ask question in between just keep it for uh, you know in the session uh, last of the session i'm removing it removal means permanent delete this persistent delete permanent delete right so now the container is no more in the memory so i can you know remove container like pk container test container by using a space i can remove container from my memory so it got removed and this is the history of today's session okay so finally docker right 
basic operations like search like images like pull like run then ps fine just please sit here only here right so this is what exactly okay so now time for question answers so if you have some question please tell me i can read now comments so is the list of con coming container is after killing it no, no after killing you cannot list it you have to uh, use docker ps-a mohini knowledge is you told the life of container is equals to running time of program so what so what is the use of killing command uh, now need if you want to kill the com uh, container uh, in between let's say you have started a program that is going to run for five minutes but due to some reason you want to stop in between manually or maybe your program is running for infinite time you want to stop it simply I hope you got the answer and uh, what if program is running indefinitely so the container will be keep running because the container will be on behalf of your program repeat rm command so rm command is just for creating so just for removing your container so if you want to remove the container you have to use rm command so that will remove your so about installing docker engine no 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 yukta uh, kill and stop are, are the same not rm so uh, stop and kill they are same there are some difference but they are same so both will stop the container yeah definitely uh, i'll be sharing that so see what i'll share today i'll share a video of how to install docker server in windows in linux everywhere the first video will be this second video i will sharing how to submit your assignment submit assignment right and i'll share that pdf also yes mohini so kill will not remove container from the list Koshi, you got the answer rm is not comparable with kill kill will kill or stop the container but rm will remove the container from your system so rm is like you are deleting it kill is like you are stopping it right so as of now if you guys don't have any questions yes yes devkumar devkumar before a uh, stopping container must be I mean, must be removed right so anyway guys i'll be sharing whatsapp a group link to all of you and the pdf also thank you so much thanks a lot you are very naughty just sit here sit here good okay so all right fine how are unique names so it's very automated process by docker itself genuine 
so docker is itself that is generating the unit name okay so thank you so much guys and good night have fun please watch this video again and again at least two times right uh yeah we will be talking more about this yes okay thank you so much guys see you tomorrow same time i'm just stopping this uh stream